Hungry. Food everywhere. It's really not. It's worse everything. Everything in Nigeria is torn up. In Germany, no they are for that Tinubu. No, no, no. Tinubu not be better man to rule. Tinubu don't be better man. La 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 la. See, see, make I tell you. Are you here? When uh, Buhari be enter seat, yeah. this is change. Uh, we begin the we we begin the cost of Buhari. Say Buhari don't Buhari everything. Uh, but the Tinubu say as the Tinubu enter the seat, yeah. Tinubu say go change everything. Yeah. This go go well. So things don't go worse now. Nah, he also if he was pass other people where they rule. Some people, when they enter, then go do things to go to change small. Leaders, our leaders don't spoil this country. Before, with a cry, PDP, the rule with a cry. Now, as APC do enter, that Tinibu on, J was say. So Tinibu was passed Buhari? Tinibu on was passed Buhari. Why are you saying he was? Was because everything don't hide, don't add money. Everybody they cry, hunger, they worry. People they die because of hunger. This president, they even know they do anything where they will take give him a word. They don't scatter Nigeria for us. I think scatter Nigeria. No, this is they very tight now. This is they very tight. See this fish belly, people. Make us see. As I caught him now, after small time, people don't they work out. But I get fish belly. Get fish belly. I bet head. So people they chop this thing now? Yes, they are eating it. But you know what? But the Tinibu oh, started from day one when he entered this. So city. what are your expectations, Auntie? They make the commota. Okay, make the commota, you know? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Na Tinibu. Na Tinibu. Why I say Na Tinibu? He say. And you know what they vest me for that Tinibu side? Uh. The wife say that they are not. That they have already reached, that they are rich, they don't need anything from the, Nigeria. The one they have is contented with them. But at the end now, Tinibu and the wife cannot allow that money self to even now then they even pack them. Mm. They pack the money now. Pass me, you know good. We now on that sofa. Okay, you see now. Three days for one basin of fish. Right. How the country will take better. Now Tinibu Kosa. Now Tinibu Kosa. Tinibu so say. What, what, what is your expectation, Auntie? <laughs> My expectation? Mm. I'm not God. Mm. I can't question. So if I say made come out. My word cannot come out in You promise December say our refinery for oil. Our refinery. Work. Which one where you say? Uh, where, uh, uh, that time when you enter, say things. Before you never enter, say things go change. Me, I would say, my Tinibu rule say, as in don't get everything complete. No truth in Tinibu. No truth. Tinibu, Tinibu don't have truth in his mouth. He's just saying, let breeze. So you they say Nigeria no go better now, now you they talk now. Nigeria they better when person where they sit now. One made things, they even, things they even had, mm. they did more harder than as it was before. Mm. Me, at the Senate, uh, Buari better pass in the time. Okay, Buari better. Here we enter 15 and now it's 200. Mm. Our children don't need to go to school again. We have removed them from the school that used to go before because of the transport and everything. Even in the market, things will buy, like this cat which I'm selling now. Yeah. We buy catfish, a kg, 150 naira, 150 per kg. Now it's 1,500 per kg. We borrow money every year, every day. So we do not even meet up. Since when the level enter, things have changed. Things have changed? Yes. So the case of how this December go will be? And... I don't really know because from now, from here to my village, before, when I owe 1,000 naira, I will go to my village. Now it's 7,000 naira. And I have this student. How can I go? Our market and see, are people buying market like before? They are not buying. They are not selling as before again because want to buy one thousand for now is two five. People cannot afford it again. Okay. So no joy, Auntie. Yes, my see, market. Mm, okay, go ahead. Yes. But now, if you ordinary live where they sell now, twenty thousand no go fee buy me live where go sell again. So Nigeria no balance. So what you want to you know, now say you know, be the best president and now you know, be the best president too. You don't scatter everything, you don't try anything. What you scatter now? You will make everything this day tight now. What you mean the major problem if you say the major the, problem when I get up in Nigeria now? Like this my market now depends on the market too. I don't want anybody to uh, feed me. But the market now, 
Now, it's in the booth, they do me bad because people know they get money now to buy the market. Even vegetable, people know yes. they get money buy vegetable. At all. If I buy vegetable of 7,000 naira, I know they feel 1,000 naira. If not before, mm. if I buy 7,000 naira, I know they feel buy 7,000 naira vegetable. And I, if I buy vegetable of 2,000 that time, my gain at 3,000. But yeah. now, this 7,000 naira vegetable, I know they feel 1,000. So, I make a certain country tight like that. Where, where? Where, where? If that's you, even to eat, to feed now. If you can't meet Tinubu now, what you go tell her? If I see him now, go tell her, may sit well, may change things for Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. A bag of rice now with 60,000 naira, we never know as we go tell you the Christmas. Now. So, no joy now. Hi, don't add money, everybody, they cry. Hunger, they worry, people, they die because of hunger. Okay? And they tell you, no be small. People, they cry. Market, any marketers for here, people, they cry. Market, no day. Eh? Hunger, they worry. Sir, hmm. uh, this Tinibu administration, at all, at all, people they worry, people so, they hunger. What do you think the people feel do now to, to uh, help uh, this situation? Uh, me, the thing why I want now, next election, people they make their. Are assist. we going to wait in next election or we'll go do something before election come? So, so, as you, they talk now, they're hungry, they keep people. That means that Nigeria will die finish before next election. And now, so now, so now, so now, now, so now, so now. Uh, the thing why I want now, uh, government help us, I make, make us change this thing. Uh, make them help, help people, change the, everything. Yeah. Make the day cheap. So, I beg. you think uh, people say that the fuel bring hardship? No, nah, so, no, nah, so this fuel subsidy, mm -hmm. make a Tinibu, I beg, bring them back, I beg. This fuel, why you come out this subsidy? Now I'm bringing everything there high, they add money. There is bad of Okay. So living in Nigeria as at today, the cost of living is just too high. Just too high. Due to uh, removal of the foreign subsidy or the president himself is not competent. We cannot judge the president for now. Okay. Because uh, presently the president is using the budget that is being prepared by another person. Okay. So before we can start blaming the government, let us hear from him. Yeah. Let him read out his own a year plan. That is, the, that is the annual budget yeah. first. So if by the end of the first quarter of next year, yeah. if there is no positive uh, change, or we are not smelling that something better is coming up, then we start blaming. But for now, to me as a person, I cannot condemn the president for now. But he, he came out and said uh, he, should be, he should be included in the uh, Guinness Book record as one of the best presidents with the policy and he has made since inception. Should he be included? I, as an accountant, he is. I believe he should have a better policy for the country. Mm. So your experience now of Nigeria, you said we are caught in between. Where will you say we are now? Are we moving forward or backward? Cutting off the fuel subsidy, and I believe we are going to survive it. So with that, and uh, going by statistics, we are we are still moving forward, but at a regressive rate. Mm, at a regressive rate. Yes. So that is a bad one. Because a lot of people complain. A lot of people are was spoken to this morning, saying we are retrogressing. There's no progress so far. And Tinobu is one of the worst presidents in the history of Nigeria due to the removal of uh, fuel subsidy without making adequate provision as uh, you know a working refinery. Do you see this man as competent? He's a competent president, and I believe strongly. Very soon, we we'll start praising him. We we'll start praising him. You cannot rebuild a, something that has started uh, deteriorating for a, for more than twenty years. We have been we have been having bad. I won't say bad problem. Uh -huh. So he inherited so you the problem. So he inherited the problem. You cannot just come one day yeah. and start rebuilding and you expect the renovation to come up just but, like But his decisions were on the first day was what people are really angry at. It, see, it has been like that in the budget that the fuel subsidy is going to be removed at the second half of the year. So it has been written. So he only came to announce it 
And this removal of fuel subsidy is what they have been agitating earlier than now. So, so if somebody should come up boldly and said, okay, we are not going to be paying subsidy, I don't think it's... So we should give him time, sir? He's going to. So, uh, I feel not say I enjoy, but I know say I go enjoy. You, you are enjoying it? I enjoy it. Oh, yeah, no enjoyment. Endure. Nothing good comes. So we have to endure. We have to endure. So we know say after this uh, fire, 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 Kule go come. Kule go come. Yes. So you anticipate that Tinobu will do well? Normally, out of 100%, I give him 75. But people say we can see the highlighting of the war since the first day. And due to what Nigerians are actually going through right now. As of. With the hardship now, inflation, cost of living in the country. Now, so it's supposed to be. So, so uh, suffering uh, is uh, normal. Uh -uh. If you you count all this chain where we put for they put for net, you go first pass through fire. Yeah. Before we they go come, you know, they know time they shine, they do this. So if you no pass all this, I don't want to get history. Okay. So I know history, no event, no event, no history. But it has always been like this that the suffering, you know, complain. Do you see Nigeria getting better? Because people say it's going to go from worse to worse. Yeah. And Zenobu has shown people it. People, when they talk like that, they don't understand. If they understand, and then they don't understand this man. The time where this man first reached Lagos. Now, so, it's yes, it's yes, it's no, it's no. Now, so people, they shout, hey, we regret what we vote for this man. But at the end of the day, the mouth where they take the halal up. They want to take on the place. So Tinobu build Lagos. In build Lagos. So you believe in go build Nigeria. In go build Nigeria. No, so Nigeria a big past Lagos. By his grace. In go build Because that guy is the one that destroy every sector of this country. Buhari is the one that destroy every sector of this country. And this young man, Tinobu, promised Nigeria during the campaign that he have come to continue from where Tinobu, from where Buhari stopped. And since that time, they had the over power. Nigeria has never remained the same. So it's yeah, increase yeah. in poverty, increase in hardship. Even the killing is still ongoing. Mm -hmm. Today, it was recorded that some places in Zamfara they kidnap people. In so many parts of Northern State, they kill people. Yeah. A nation cannot survive in this kind of experience. What we need is a leader who will have the heart of people at mind. Who will give? Who is not a leader? Tinubu is a ruler. Mm. For my own assessment, what we need in this country is a leader, a man that knows what it takes to rule his people, so providing the necessary amenities. You cannot point out to one significant thing that this man has done since he came into power, sir. Since this young man came into power, all he keeps doing is excuses and promises. I don't know if we are still in campaign era. No one thing positively this man has done to this country, apart from negative side. For example, the increase of fuel from 200 to 700. I bought 680 naira this morning. The every other sector increase in school fees, increase in custom duty, increase in virtually everything. Nothing positive for one this man have ever done. What do you think is the way forward, the solution, sir? What do you? What I think is the way forward is for him to have a rethink. Hmm. Since the INEC have pronounced him winner and the president of this country. And the Supreme Court, the tribunal. And the Supreme Court also affirm is winning. So what you have to do is to rethink and start taking positive steps toward remedying the challenges of this point. Talking about steady power supply, making sure that our finalists are working, building new one, and investing massively into agriculture yes. and industrialization. Making sure that there is free education from primary to secondary, Maybe in university, you divide the school fees into two. Okay. The parents will pay half, government will pay half. This is how a country can do. And another thing, let there be good roads everywhere. For yes. a country to develop, you must have standard roads. Good road network. Because, yes, because development and prosperity flow through roads. Yes. A China people say for you to have a prosperous nation, you must, you must have a good road network. Mm. So this is, we have to at least follow the example of those that are progressing in positivity. So Nigeria now is now moving forward. Nigeria is retrograding. Nigeria is not only stagnant, but it is retrograding. Okay. And there's no nation that can stand the test of time by the way Nigeria is going as I speak to you now. Okay. This country needs 
intentional leaders that know what it takes to move people from poverty to prosperity. What would you say to Tinobu if you were to meet him one-on-one? -on -one? If I'm to advise Tinobu, yes, my honorable advice to Mr. President Tinobu is either to resign or employ men with positive thinking, with creative ideas, those who know how to move country forward. We know how to invest in women development and empowerment. So Tinobu should resign. That is my honorable advice to him. Either he resign or he resign. Tell us one significant change when he don't do as he become president. At least the country is moving forward. Mm. Nigeria is moving forward now. Yeah. So you are enjoying the uh, his administration, sir? Yes, yes. Okay.